Welcome to Lecture Online. Now that we understand what inverse matrices are and what identity matrices are, we can use those techniques to solve systems of linear equations. So here we have a simple system. We have two equations, two unknowns. The two unknown variables are x and y, and we're trying to find the values for x and y that will satisfy these two equations. That's what we mean by solving systems of linear equations. We can take a system like this and write it into matrix format. Notice that the A matrix is simply the coefficients of the X and Y's in the two equations. X here is simply the matrix of the two unknowns, X and Y, and B is the matrix of the constants on the right side of the equation. Notice that A times X equals B. If we multiply A times X plus B times Y, or I should say A1 times X plus B1 times Y equals C, that gives us the first equation, and A2 times X plus B2 times Y gives us equals C2 gives us the second equation. So you can see that this is simply a representation of the two equations right here in the system of linear equations. Now, if A times X equals B, that means that X is equal to A inverse times B. And since X, the X matrix is equal to the variables X and Y that we're looking for, we can then solve for these variables by simply looking for the inverse of the matrix A and multiply that times the, the matrix B, which is simply the constants on the right side of the equal sign. And since we know that for 2 by 2, the inverse of matrix A is equal to 1 over the determinant times A2 and uh, A1 and B2 reversed in position, and negative signs pl placed over there, we can then simply take this, plop it in here, multiply times the uh, B matrix, and we get the values for X and Y. And that's how we're going to find the solutions to systems of linear equations. Now, what if we have a 3 by 3 instead of a 2 by 2? The method still works. The difference is we can no longer use the simplified method to find the inverse, and we'll then have to use the augmented matrix and the Gaussian elimination method to find the inverse of the matrix, which of course also works for a two by two if you like the technique better. So this is how we're going to go about doing that. In the next video, we'll show you an example of how to actually apply this technique by taking this concept here, changing it to that, and then easily solving for the values of X and Y in the matrix. So stay tuned and we'll show you a nice example of how to implement this technique.